Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and this is going to be a short video. It's a little bit different than some of the videos I've done before here. I uh, hope the video quality is okay. I'm recording this on my camera. But I'm going to be doing a unboxing here. Um, this is, I guess, the first video I've ever done that's an unboxing, and I just got a package from Matrix Games from a, a game that I just purchased. Uh, it's going to be part of a new series, hopefully a play-by-email series that I'm going to be doing with another YouTuber named Pew Pew Chew Chew. We'll see if anything comes of that. Uh, if not, I'll do a few videos of my own. But uh, just opening up the box here... And the game that you'll see here in just a second is one of the newest games from Matrix Games. I just purchased it. It's one of their kind of ultra groggy type games. I haven't covered too many of these on my channel. I've been doing a lot more basic games, um, kind of intro level war games. But this is definitely on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, it's an incredible high quality uh, manual here. It's uh, a three. It's a huge hardcover manual book, whatever you want to call it, War in the West, Gary Grigsby's War in the West, uh, the newest game in the Grigsby lineup. Uh, War gamers, if you know who Gary Grigsby is, you know he's the hardcore, most hardcore of the hardcore here. And as I said, it is a wonderful manual here. It is a hardcover color, or for the most part, color manual. Um, Man, this is just nice quality. It's got a little sleeve in here for the game. And, uh, man, I've never seen a manual like this. I've never been one to really collect a whole lot. But uh, this is definitely something that's, uh, you know, you, you, in some extent you get what you're paid, paying for. Because it's not the cheapest game, but darn if this isn't a nice quality book here. Um, something like this in an actual book format would probably be, what, 20 30 bucks. But, um Unless you get it a bargain bun here. You can see 300, 300 pages, or over 300? Let's see here. Quite a bit of information. It's it's definitely a game that um, you could probably use reading the whole manual, although I probably won't get around to it before my uh, videos start here. I'd like to jump in and just start playing. But you can see here lots and lots of text, lots of stuff and rules to read through to get a full understanding of this game. You don't have to buy the manual with the game, by the way. They have a digital download version as well. But uh, I like having the physical copy in my hand, and um, for, what was it, like $10, $15 extra, I definitely think it was was worth the purchase, I'd say. Uh, real quick, a little bit about the uh, game itself. It's a turn base. I believe each turn is one week, uh, Western Front World War II game. So you basically take on the role of, essentially, you become Eisenhower. And uh, the game has all the detail any kind of war gamer could ever want, uh, down to... I think the regimental or battalion level, you know, keeps track of individual tanks and things like that. Um, it's a chit-based game, basically NATO counters, those types of things. Um, you can play as the Germans, you can play as the Allies, you can play kind of larger scenarios with the entire Western Front, including strategic bombing of Germany starting in late 43, I believe, just before the Italy invasions. It's just after Tunisia falls, essentially. Um, or you can play uh, individual scenarios like, you know, the invasions of Italy, Sicily, um, Normandy, those types of things. But uh, that's going to be the next game here that I, I look at as I kind of flip through the manual. I'm sorry for some of the, the quality seems uh, a little bit poor, but again, keep in mind I'm recording with my my uh, phone. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this short little look at this, uh, this amazing quality hardcover manual and look for some videos on War in the West coming from me in the near future. But that's going to do it for me here today, so thank you for watching. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer signing out.